3713 hemlock. Take two. You only get up, up to a five minute video. And this place is so big that you needed more time. This is a mudroom walking in. This will be your coat, gloves, masks, shoes, coats all year round right here, boots at the bottom, walking right in the door. You come this way, I have to go a little faster. This place is huge. And you got your master. This master is huge. It is hardwood floors, uh, probably 18 by 26. So this master is huge. You got the same thing with the hardware, I mean hardware floor, into the living room. This is the living room. Ah, see the handsome guy. Go look at the handsome guy inside of the mirror. So most people put the TV there, set up an L couch like this, table in the middle, use this as a walking path. So the living room is 18 by 16, huge. This is bedroom number two. This bedroom is 16 by 14. Yes, 16 by 14. That means you can fit any bed, any kind of bedroom set you have in this room. Here's a closet, plenty of space. Again, this is five bedrooms. Five. This is an extra closet area which can be utilized for that master. You can uh, shower, bathe, whatever, get ready. When you come out, grab your stuff, go back to your room. So here you go. Here's an extra closet. You got built ins for your linens and toilet papers, feminine products, and everything else next to that. Then you got the bathroom. This bathroom's even big. Got shower tile surround, tile on the floor, window for air, toilet bowls regular, sink, mirrors regular, but it's still a nice big bathroom. This is bedroom number three. Bedroom number three is also large enough to fit king size. Queen size, any size bed, man. This, these rooms are huge. Five huge bedrooms. Another nice size closet. Walk out of bedroom three into the kitchen area. Large countertop, island. One, two, three, four. On the outside, four, maybe five chairs, depending on the size of your kids. You can put five bench chairs here. You got this for your spices, or if you want to put uh, stuff to decorate it, built-ins. You will put your refrigerator here, your stove there. You got plenty of cabinet, and microwave a fan will stay here. You have plenty of cabinet space. Did I mention it's five bedrooms? Yeah, five. This is bedroom number four. This room is 10 by 10. 10 by 10. This is the smallest room so far. There's one a little smaller. But nice size closet. Deep. Walk over here. This would be bedroom number five. Bedroom number five is the 10 by 9. Now, you can utilize bedroom number five like a bedroom, or because kids are at home right now. You hang the TV there, you put your full-size bed in the middle, there's plenty of shelving for shoes, clothes, whatever you want. But since there's homeschooling right now, you can, a kid can put a laptop, you put two kids in here, and you put one, two, three there, there's your shelves. You just buy the chairs, and then you have them in the middle. You could even set them a desk in the middle for their game console. That's the second exit, out the door. So this will be their party playroom out of your way room. <laughs> That's the second exit out. And here's the pantry. This pantry can fit as much groceries as you could put in there. Stack up all your waters and stuff there. There's tile through here. 
All the bedrooms have laminate floor, except for the front part has hardwood floor. Five bedrooms, one bath. Apply now. <laughs>